How do you integrate subwoofers with full range loudspeakers? The question comes from Justin in Houston, Texas. How would you integrate a pair of subs if you have full range speakers that measure down to 20 hertz in the room? You're a fan of servo subs. You might not be aware of rhythmic audio. They specialize in servo subs out of Austin, Texas. Well, good. I, if I remember right, their kind of servo isn't the kind that I prefer. I, I think they use a second voice coil, and that's not, that's sort of a servo. It's not, if I'm correct. If they use an accelerometer or a motion detector, <clears throat> on, on, on their woofers, then I'm more of a fan of it. But I've never actually played around with them. But you know, look, my, everybody knows, most people know, I am a big fan of subwoofers because I don't believe the vast majority of loudspeakers go down to 20 hertz. So let's start with your first assumption. If you actually have a pair of loudspeakers that truly goes down to 20, 15, 18 hertz in the room at your listening position so that when you play that music, you are literally getting flat response down to 20 hertz, you don't need a sub. There's no reason for a sub. I wouldn't add a sub. I mean, I've got the speakers we're working on, the new ones for PS Audio, they've got built-in subwoofers, servo subwoofers into them, and they clearly go down to 20 hertz and I, there'd be no reason to add another sub. Having said that, I have never found a pair of passive speakers, ones that you just hook up to a power amplifier and let her rip and it goes down to 20 hertz. Never seen a pair of those. Maybe they exist. I know a lot of manufacturers will say, oh yeah, these are 20 hertz capable. I mean, they, they're they three, let's just say they're three dB down points, 20 hertz, which is pretty respectable. So if that were true, then you wouldn't need a subwoofer. I just have never seen it. I've seen a lot of manufacturers saying that they do when they poke a microphone one meter away from the speaker, but actually at your listening position, it's pretty rare. And again, I've never seen it happen. So, but let's imagine that we have a, a little bit more realistic situation. Let's say that you have a pair of full range loudspeakers that effectively go down to 40 hertz. They're, they're, they're solid down to 40 and then they begin to roll off and you're missing that bottom octave down from 40 to 20. That's pretty typical. And we see that a lot in passive speakers, even the best passive speakers, those that say they go down to 20 hertz. So there, you certainly don't want to do anything to the main speakers. You, the, the, the full range speakers are left alone. They're set up as best you can get them for imaging, for tonality, for all the things that we want to do with a pair of speakers. Those are set up properly and life's good. Now you're going to add the missing octave of bass. And I have always been an advocate of letting full range speakers be full range. So do not try and roll those off. Leave them be, let them do what they were designed to do. Now, add your subs. If you're gonna use Rhythmics, that's fine. If you wanna use RELs or a pair of Genesis or you know, whatever you might have, then it's a pretty easy mix to add in. There's some tricks, of course, <clears throat> you want to find the best spot for those subwoofers. And one of the best ways to do that is, I think I've said this before, but it's, it's worth repeating. Take the subwoofer and place it on your listening chair. I know, this sounds weird. Get a long set of cables. We're not looking for quality here. Just set that woofer so that it's low pass filter. The, how high the woofer is going is set to, well, let's call it 40 hertz for the moment, 40, 50 hertz, 30 hertz, whatever you want. And then uh, active in the system, but sitting on your listening chair. Now what you're going to do is you're going to start playing some music and you're going to walk around the room where your speakers are, the part of the room where the speakers are. So you go in back, you walk around and you're going to find a place 
where that woofer really kicks butt, where that woofer is like solid. Oh yeah, oh, okay, this works. Now I've got that extension, that true extension, down to 20 hertz, which we rarely get in a room. And you, you'll know it. And you walk over here, it's not there. And you go over here, there it is. Mark that spot. X marks the spot. And then that's where you're going to put that subwoofer. You take it off your chair, you put it in that spot. Now, when you reverse positions and you sit in your chair, you will hear perfect 20 hertz sound just as you did. There's no difference between being here in, in your chair and the sub there as, or reversing positions. So that's a great way to set up your sub. And the trick there, don't take the low pass filter up too high. Keep it kind of low and have it blend in so that again, your full range speakers actually sound like they are going down to the subterranean depths that they were never capable of, but we, we wish they were. So that's what you want to do. You don't want to hear any sound come from the sub. It all has to sound like it's coming from the main full range loudspeakers, and then you are golden. All right, good question. Thanks. Bye.